When you were little, you probably had a look at magnets and magnetic fields. You had some iron filings and you sprinkled them on top of a magnet and you saw what happened. But usually when you did a 2D magnetic field, you didn't really get a feel for what was going on. So let's have a look at a 3D magnetic field. <laughs> When you were little, when you were in little classes, in junior schools, you looked at magnetic fields and what they did, they gave you a magnet like this and probably they gave you some iron filings and you put the iron filings or sprinkled them over the magnet and you got the shape of a field. Often it was done on a piece of paper and the teachers didn't say to you oh no, don't sprinkle the iron filings directly over the magnet, no, put it over a piece of paper instead. Well, we're going to try the experiment in a slightly different way. I've got here a cylindrical bar magnet and I've got a tube and this tube is full of iron filings but there's a tube inside and what we're going to do is place this magnet inside this tube and then I'm going to put an end over this and what we've now got are some iron filings I'm going to give them a little shake to see if they'll stick to the magnet and what we get is not the usual shape of these things coming out showing the magnetic field in 2D but here we see it's in 3D and if you zoom in you can see that we get the typical shape of the magnetic field going from the north to the south but it happens not in two dimensions but we see this happening in all directions so this is very much like what the earth looks like we can imagine the earth as a magnetic sort of spinning I suppose bar magnet and if we imagine this to be the earth it's a bit of a cylinder rather than a sphere and we have this magnet down here the magnetic field extends around the earth going from the North Pole down to the South Pole and it's working in all directions. So as I rotate this you can see the magnetic fields, these iron filings are making lines of magnetic field and you can see how they come out, curve round and go back to the other pole and they do this in all directions. So there we have a dice wave showing how the magnetic field works in the earth in three dimensions which is so much more realistic than looking at it in only two. There we are. Magnetic fields, they work in 3D. Remember that they work in 3D because that's how the Earth works, that's how they work. And this has all sorts of implications when you start looking at magnetic fields in electric currents. And we'll have a look at those in another video. See you then.